And joining me now, refreshed from their song, two members of Bare Naked Ladies, Steve Page and Ed Robertson. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Excellent. Yeah. You are excellent? Yeah. Okay, I have a, a conspiracy theories about you guys. I listen to the album and I, and I hear lots of funny stuff and lots of, you know, good lyrics that are uh, good jokes, good twists. But then I hear the way you do the vocals and it strikes me that you take a lot of pride in this, that you, you like singing, you like your voices, and in another time, in another place, you would have just been folkies and happy that way, playing in coffee shops. You know? Well, maybe if we hadn't grown up in Scarborough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there's just no room for that kind of... And we grew up in the 80s, and, and that's... But if you'd been in the 60s, do you think just singing straight folk would have been enough? I, I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I, so much of what we grew up in was... was pop culture and mm -hmm. I mean, that's, a, that's such a for us such a 70s and 80s thing this big explosion of more mcdonald's on every street corner um that that's what you know that's the atmosphere we grew up in and that's what we en ended up being interested in and making fun of is our a lot of our our music comes from from knowing about those things mm -hmm. but without ever thinking about it until quite recently i've seen a lot of younger bands now they come up and I, they're just their songs are riddled with tv references and pop references and, and i i wonder what they've done if there'd been no tv if you would have just ended up straight but what do you get from it is it just the fact that everybody knows these they're universals you can just use them right away or is there something about pop culture you're trying to say that it's it was great, and it's this is a nostalgic look, or that it was lousy, and we should all forget it. Well, I'm 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 not a big fa fan of nostalgia. I had, like blind nostalgia, be it about the '60s or be it about uh, the cartoons of the early '80s. Uh, it's, re regardless, it's it's something that I think we have to l look at everything that's that's happened and and understand why it's completely stupid. So that's why you know we we make fun of a lot of stuff, or we'll we'll make references to things. And, and maybe obscure things, mm -hmm. but uh, but always with we appear to be. I think we we appear. That, this is where the conspiracy comes in. Yeah. We try the and make you. Theory. We we make you think that you're enjoying it, but you're not. You're actually hating it, and you're going to subvert the, the pop culture. And then so, we'll all be singing in coffee houses. So you're pop we, gorillas. Is that the that's, idea? That's what we. Pop Maybe that's gorillas. a new thing. You can call yourself Pop Gorillas. That's a new song. Maybe. Well, what was that? Uh, that they you... eat themselves. I guess. <laughs> crazy Pop Gorillas. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the uh, song that... What about uh, Yoko? Tell me about the Yoko song, because uh, this seems to have been a very popular song, even with the Ono family themselves. And let Ed answer this time. I was I think just you're, about you're to point... You're hogging time, I was Steve. just about to point Adam and go, right. yours. Well, Steve actually wrote this song. <laughs> but uh, I know what he wrote it about. I wrote The Bridge. Yeah, you wrote that's The Bridge. Right. All right. Um, <laughs> Well, the song is really just a, a, a love song in the disguise of a quirky little pop culture joke. It's, uh, we sort of thought it was just a joke for a long time, and then people started saying, no, that's a great love song. That's just a really sweet song. Because you talk about John and Yoko and how they really loved each other, and wouldn't yeah. you love to have your very own personal Yoko? Exactly. That's what. Or it's your about. personal John, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. if you're Yoko. And stop blaming them for uh, Yoko for breaking up the Beatles. It's not her fault. So now I hear Sean. Uh, John uh, Lennon's son has uh, heard this. Uh, yeah, where Steve did and I, uh, Steve and I met him at a club called the Palladium in New York. We walked into this room and there was Sean Lennon standing there. He was standing in a spotlight, just standing there waving at us. <laughs> He's the only person in the room, too. I'm Sean Lennon. Here I am, bare naked ladies. That song you wrote about my mom. You know. So I went over to him and said, uh, "Hello, Sean. I'm Ed from Canada." <laughs> what and street? He said. Yeah. <laughs> he took that. <laughs> totally at face value, and he said, nice to meet you, Ed. And then I said, you know something, we've been trying to get in touch with your mother. And he said, right away, he said, oh, that's you, Bare Naked Ladies, great song. And, and I sort amazed. of looked at Steve like, we were <laughs> right, you know? <laughs> and so we kept it cool, and we invited him out to our showcase in New York, and then we ran out of the room screaming, and we jumped on Tyler, who was in the other room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he ended up coming out to the show, which was mighty cool, and he uh, said that he liked it. You're yeah. getting a lot of... Different kinds of attention. You were at the New Music Seminar in New York, right. and then you ended up where in Austin, Texas, doing a what? A country? Uh, well, no, it was kind a similar of kind of thing. Sim all kinds of different types of music. It was a big uh, new music festival. You started this as a, you know. Obviously, there's a part of this where we just want to have fun. Yeah. We want to be able to make fun of ourselves. Now you got record deals to think about and people to to consider and your own images to consider. And do we really want to be perceived this way if we hit a mass audience? Yeah. Is this becoming less of a joke and more of this is awful serious. Well, I think the good thing is I, I had wanted to be a musician. I had wanted to be a performer for my whole life. 
And then in about grade 12 or 13, I realized, hmm, graduating is coming up. I'm going to have to decide to do something. So I threw away that idea and said, it's never going to work. And so I, I all of a sudden somehow achieved this world vision in grade 13. still 13. trying to tell them that it's never going to work. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, uh, we, so we started doing it as a hobby and started having a lot of fun with it. Took and the we, pressure off. It totally did. Yeah. And we were still doing all the same things when you know, we started selling out shows. So it's it's the same thing now. It's still uh, fun and big response. I mean, people go crazy yeah, for we, you guys. Yeah. You did the uh, the conference where they book uh, college. You know, right. colleges all get together and look at entertainers and then decide whether this is great or not. You guys got a, the only standing ovation all these representatives had ever given. What is it that's turning people on? I don't know. It's just a, a sense of fun. I mean, I don't know if we can if we're always. Funny. I mean, we're not going to go out there and be Weird Al Yankovic all the time. Yeah. Or, or hopefully never, actually. <laughs> That'd be an idea. You no, know, that's good. Yeah. But uh, Might be the pastries. Apparently the pastries really We throw really out wild fresh pastries to Halifax. people. You throw out fresh pastries? No. no. You should. <laughs> we, have, we have thrown out deli sticks before. Yeah. Though, and a little, Here's an eclair. Little sausages and things. But, so uh, where does it go from here? How big does this get? Well, we're, we're just going to start our uh, Canadian tour. We're going out, out west next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be in Vancouver and Victoria and Calgary. And then uh, in September, we're going to go out and do the East Coast again. And then hopefully we'll get a record done. Great. Well, this thing is going to be bigger than the bath bead. <laughs> <laughs> bath bead. You throw these. You'll hurt people. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Thanks Ralph.